and Pastor Ernie Sanders, known as the voice of the Christian resistance uh, to many for four decades now. I'm coming to you from this pulpit that I've been preaching from for uh, many, many years. I pastor two churches, uh, one here in Newberry, Ohio, at 14781 Sperry Road in Newberry, and another church uh, in Cortland, Ohio, at 162 South High. Both of the churches go by the name of Doers of the Word Baptist Church, and uh, we really believe, and we hold to that name, Doers of the Word. We really do, really do believe God's Word, the Bible. Nowadays, we see a lot of people uh, in our society have learned to try to justify compromise. Uh, today, we have people who are politicians telling us, well, that's the law, so just learn to live with it, or it's the law of the land now. Well, we don't hold to that opinion. Uh, we believe God's Word, the Bible. We hold to the Word of God. Uh, these so-called laws that they have will come and go. But the Lord Jesus made it very clear that uh, heaven and earth have passed, but His words will never pass. And the reason I'm speaking to you today is the fact that uh, in this rapidly changing society. There are those of us that would uh, rather be dead than red, if you will. We're not going to compromise. Uh, we uh, are going to stand fast, hold true to our morals and our values. And that's why I urge my people, and I urge over six million people, six days a week on the radio, uh, to vote morals, to vote biblical values. And here in Ohio, I know that our Republican Party has lost a, a lot of credibility from a lot of the people because of compromise. Uh, they want to compromise, and uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to stand fast, and we would rather lose an election with integrity uh, than compromise and sell ourselves. So uh, we are here because we want to see bills like the heartbeat bill. We want the heartbeat bill passed. It's been five years, so we haven't got it gotten it passed. And uh, we want to stand fast. We hold to what God's Word, the Bible, teaches, which is traditional family values. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, God's Word, the Bible, of Genesis chapters 1 to 3, gave us the institution of marriage. God gave us the first divine institution of marriage in the family. And when He did that, He also gave us the definition of marriage. One man one lifetime, one man and one woman in one lifetime. Uh, that's the definition of marriage between a man and a woman. And a family is a man and a woman, a father, a mother, and children. And uh, today, what, and by the way, that happens to be called settled law. You hear that term, bandied about in the courtrooms. Well, that is settled law for 6,000 years. That's settled law. And what today is called and accepted by those with lesser values, lesser morals, and, and I really doubt the salvation of those people uh, that accept what, what is called same-sex marriage. God's Word, the Bible, makes it very clear. He gave us the definition of that, too. It's called fornication, and it's called an abomination. And that, too, is settled law. Well, I guess that's about all that I have to say today. I hope that you folks out there listening who have been given over to compromise will repent of that and understand that it, it won't be some man-made court that you'll stand before on Judgment Day, but you will be standing before the Supreme Court of the universe. That will happen. There is no chance that that won't. So my advice to you is to repent of all of those transgressions, to repent of the compromise, turn back to God. And that's the end of my message. God bless, and I hope you hear and obey.